back to Fembot IT. My name is Julie and today we're going to go over five easy steps on setting up a WordPress site in AWS. Um, I did this for a few reasons. Um, basically my most important reason is I am new to IT. I do not have a lot of experience so I'm trying to get as much experience as I can from anyone who will give it to me. Um, but also the WordPress site gives me a place to store all my training materials, uh, what I'm working on at work, um, what I did and how I passed the certification exams and many projects that I'm doing just on the side just for fun and to learn more and it acts as sort of a resume um, so uh, potential employers or, or my current employer who I'm trying to get more work from um, can see that I am able to do things even though I'm very new to IT and new to AWS anyways there's five easy steps um, you can also set up a WordPress site uh, very easily in AWS using Elastic Beanstalk and also LightSail, um, but I chose to do it um, without using those two just so that I can get a little bit more experience and get a little bit more hands-on in AWS. Um, first step is to set up your free tier AWS account. Um, that way you can get into the console, you can start building things. Um, the next step, step number two, what I chose to do first um, because your domain name and your S3 bucket, main name, S3 bucket name has to match, I set up my S3 buckets and also my domain name to make sure they were both available um, so that I could use them. The next step is to start um, deploying your EC2 instance. Um, you'll choose your AMI, choose your instance type, you'll go through all the configurations for your EC2 instance. Um, one of the things that I didn't do here that I wish I had in the beginning is I didn't assign um, a key pair to my EC2 instance right before I launched it. Um, I would have gone back, uh, it's been a while now, but I went back and deleted that EC2 instance and started over um, because if you do not have a key pair, you cannot SSH in um, and make changes or do anything in your EC2 instance. And I've been doing a lot more Linux training lately and so to get experience and to be able to try to do things in Linux on my EC2 instance, I just deleted the first one and went back and, and did it a different way. Um, but I do have, if, for all these steps, if you go to finbotit.com, there's a complete step-by-step -step post about building your WordPress site, um, which is really helpful. And it's very similar to the first one. It's actually the first one that I did. I need should go back and do another one um, so that then I can show you how you can use your SSH to get into your instances. But anyways, um, so after you have launched your EC2, um, next you set up your VPC. Uh, so that is step number four, set up your VPC. Um, and this was a lot of fun for me because the, your VPC is a huge part of the Certified Solutions Architect exam. So you really have to know how to do a VPC inside, outside, and, and there's really just a few steps that you need to do to create it. But um, I did my two subnets so that you know I had multiple availability zones. Um, I actually added um, two RDS instances in recently to my VPC, um, but I'll do another post on that later. So I did my subnets, my NACL um, security group, got everything up and running. And then the last step, step number five, is to go into Route 53 and create your record sets. So once you have that done, you can either type in your um, IP address or your um, domain name and boom, your WordPress site is up. And then you have to go in and log into your WordPress site and configure it and get it exactly how you want to. And you can change your password, you can start uploading. Um, it's very simple, it's a lot of fun. Uh, like I said before, Finbot IT is my WordPress site and I store all my training materials, projects I'm working on, things I'm working on at work. Um, and it's basically there to build a resume for myself, but also to help people who are new to IT, new to AWS, or who just might want to see how I do things. It's a place that they can go and find information that they could potentially use. So anyways, thanks for stopping by. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and come back and see me again.